Well, good morning to you. Monday again. God, was the time gone, eh? Still, this is what we want now. And a bit of warm weather, a bit of lovely sunshine. Everybody well, feeling the fl flowers are coming on. Everything is getting on unky dory That's what we say. Really, really good. Anyhow, I hope you've all had a nice weekend. And I just want to say... um. A Plembloth low and niece to um, Reverend Jane Kneebone, which is happy birthday to Jane uh, today. She's our vicar that uh, does all the Cornish services in all the churches. She does a fantastic job, but happy birthday to you, Jane, and have a nice day. Now, also, last Saturday, um, <clears throat> we were invited by Penny and the team from the Hale Salvation Army to raise some money. So myself went along and I did a tombola stall, but I also got to thank Maxine, Na Natasha, Abby, Lily and Pauline from the Mad Atter uh, Cafe. What a fantastic cake. What a fantastic cake with all in the Ukrainian colours. And we what total raised was one uh, near enough 1300 there was other things going on in the town but when you think hale's such a small town what a what a great heart what a what a big heart fantastic fantastic so thank you to all those that come along and supported such a, a great cause i mean our, our our thoughts our hearts are with those out of ukraine and well um it's going to be all right. I know there's lots have passed away, but <coughs> it's got to be sorted out. It's going to be all right. Let's try and be positive if we can. Now, I'm going to do a, a little poem here by the late Brenda Wooden, of course. This one's called Over from Silly. Alfie came over from Silly, never been to the mainland for, to see things both new and exciting. In fact, he was thrilled to the core. He came over to stay with his cousin. They'd met once or twice in his youth, just for a fortnight to have a look round, out on the far side of Druth. The house, it looked onto the railway, close by where the tunnel went through. If you went round to look through the window out front, you'd get an almighty nice view. And Janie had looked out for Alfie, and Alfie, he really felt posh. She put a nice mug for his toothpaste, toothbrush, and a basin and pail for a wash. He mooched and he poked her in the bedroom. All sorts of things whirled in his head. And placing his boots down by the commode, he gratefully sank on the bed. Next morning he came down to breakfast. The bacon gave such a rich smell. Oh, Alfie, good morning. You're just the right time. I hope and trust that you slept well. Sometime your room's a bit noisy if we get a long distance train. I hope that didn't disturb you, that and the gale and the rain. Well, yes, Cousin Jane, and I thank you. I slept well for most of the night, but as I was waking this morning, I got such a terrible fright. I stood and I geeked out the window, and there came such an almighty roar. Or oh, says Jane with a smile, that's a mail from Penzance. It passes at 7.54. But Alfie was still, his eyes wide with fear. He clutched at the chair where he sat. That train came so fast, Med. If it wasn't for that owl, my gar, there would have been some bloomin' scat. And this is one here, I, this is just a little, small one. I can't believe it, said the American tourist, looking out of the grey skies over Sinai's. I've been here an entire week, and it's done nothing but rain. When do you guys have summer here? Well, that's hard to say, replied the local. Last year it was on a Wednesday. Thank you, and take care.